man, are you ready for Alan Wake? Yes, yeah, do it. Well, you, you gotta, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. What? Just for like a few minutes. You told me. I did. I lied. Because uh, there's one more quest in the foundation that's up here, and we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right I here. I want to do it on Sequential Saturday. No, with I quit Sequential Saturday. Me, Jeff. So. And Amanda. Uh, we're going to the chasm, though. Look, we're gonna have a chasm party. Do you know want to have a chasm party? That's, the mean, that's where the best parties are. I feel like... In the chasm. Yeah, you ever have a chasm rave? <laughs> yes. So, yeah, I, I don't know how you were supposed to find this out, but, like, this is the last one. Uh, you got to, like... Got to be a gamer pro, bro. Yeah, that's right. Well, technically... Technically... Technically. Uh, what did that do? Oh, Just drawing some lights. Light. Uh... Technically, like, you remember there were all those, like, little, like, bridges, those rock bridges? Yes. And there was one that, there was a, a second set of them that we couldn't get to. Uh -huh. I'm go oh, oh, look, a dinosaur. Oh. Maybe we'll fight some dinosaurs. <gasps> Is that the uh, ill-tempered VHS tape supplement? Which one's that? What does that mean? Background. This item's creation is the source of much research and debate. It was a product of the Bureau's first attempts to film porn. Goat. Oh, oh, oh. Entity Go porn it is. A001 during Operation Shallow Tide. An agent was able to conceal themselves in an area frequented by Ati, at which point they began filming. Wait, is Ati Entity A-001? <gasps> uh, the My agent homie, Ati? reported the video camera showed no sign of disturbance during filming. Later in reviewing the footage, the research staff became mesmerized mesmerized by its altered effects. Uh, measures were taken and altered evaluation began. Never before have Bureau personnel been so closely involved in the creation of an altered item. The experiment was quickly replicated, though not with the same results. The footage was simply useless in every subsequent attempt. This event spawned a great debate as to whether altered items are created by paranormal entities intentionally or otherwise. Similar experiments were prohibited soon after. See the Ash Act for details. As the wow. creation of altered materials was deemed an action the Bureau should not engage in. <laughs> Just, uh, you know you fucked up in the Bureau when they create an entire act yeah. in their policies based on you. Oh, should I get in here? I mean... Is this... No? Huh? What was in here? Did I let something out? Was it a dinosaur? Ooh. Uh, so... Oh, it's dark and spooky in here. Well, wait a minute. I can't... Uh, hmm. I got a... Um, was there something that I... I can't tell if you're playing this up or not. What? <laughs> like, you're like, oh, I don't know how to get in the No, store. no, oh, I, okay. I, I don't. I don't. Okay. Uh, I, I didn't like, know if you're like, where do we look? And uh, then you know where to look. I, d I actually don't know where to look. What did this uh, What did this thing do? Can I, I yank know. it back out? I don't think I can take stuff out. Hey, get out of there. Ow. What about, like, fucking get out? Can you nope. break these crystals over here? Is that crystal? Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, okay. So that would make sense why you have to have... Oh, shit. Found uh, footage. New mission. Okay. Use the altered item to escape the chasm. The chasm! Oh, shit. Uh, That's a fucking chasm, all right. Wait, which altered item? Wait, does it mean we get a new power? <gasps> Maybe. Uh, I want a new power. I can't see a thing. I can. It's Maybe not that dark. You could bring a what? flashlight. What? You think it through? Wait, is that the... Oh, is that the projector like again? Spooky shadows. Wait, here's a level 15 something. Hey, buddy. A light. Are you cool? Another TV. Oh, shit. Is that like, uh, is he just watching Threshold Kids? Hey, man, I'll watch Threshold Kids with you. What you got? Is it something interesting? or? No, it's Aughty sweeping. Look at the video. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. It's the it's the it's the the thing that the item. Yeah. yeah, and that's one of these like void dudes, right? Yeah. Oh shit! All right. Hell yeah, man! I'd watch a video of Ati. Oh wait, am I supposed to like get that and then use it as like a light? So dark. Yeah. How am I supposed to drag this thing out of here? Well, I have telekinesis. Oh man, look at that! You can see Ati sweeping on the wall. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Hey, All buddy, right. uh, I'm gonna take this now. So just you keep watching. Nothing. I'm leaving. Bye. -bye. <laughs> um. uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh. I'll throw this at you. Do you want it back? Do you, would you like it back? Is that what's going on here? But is he? He's not even being aggressive. No, he's just being kind of a douche. Yeah, he's being creepy. Fuck you, douche. Hey, pretty lady, why don't you smile for me? He just uh, keeps following you. Oh, oh, is this like? This is kind of like some Alan oh, Wake shit right dude, here. This is kind of scary. Uh. 
If it wasn't Ati, I'd be more scared. Yeah. But, like, I'm not scared of Ati, so yeah. I'm fine with it. Oh, I wonder honest. if this is why they gave you the ability to, like, pick up multiple. So when I when I blast them with the Ati, do they stop? They like. Can you blast them with Ati? Well, I'm just, if I shine the Ati right in their faces. Oh, shit, they're, like, a lot of them. Um, yeah, you I, got, I think you got five boys trailing you right now. Wow. Uh, how high of, oh, shit, it's one of these assholes. Just I'm, don't drop the TV. You're not my boss, Jesse Faden. I work for Rage Select, not the Bureau of Control. <sighs> the Bureau of Rage. The Bureau of Rage. It's the opposite. Rage Quite Select. Quite a different. Can, how do we get, um, can we get, can we get like, can we be one of those like cursed things on the internet? Could we be like a cursed website where it's like, ah. From my experience, we are. No. Ah. <laughs> Press X to launch any, or, or to, uh, wait. Oh, to drop. Okay. So you gotta fucking power up this door and shit. Is that a cool little, uh, yeah. little, like, little side quest? This is oddly yeah. um, nerve wracking. It, it really reminds me of Alan Wake. <laughs> like, like I would figure that this would have been more in the Alan Wake DLC. Okay, I'm gonna drop this here. Oh, j not that way. Okay, that's good. Turn on all the lights. Turn on the Hit lights. It's the lights. <laughs> okay. Why is the music all crazy? This is relaxing. I want a vacation down here with these like slender men. Yeah, it sounds like a boat in the night. You know, the like creaking. Chuck, 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 yeah. chuck. Not Dude. now. <laughs> God damn it. So wait, where am I going? Up here? Uh -huh. Hey guys, get away from that. This is where I go. You don't Excuse me. Excuse me. Are they like super high level? It's the next cartoon. You guys want to watch that? Let's see. You got five seconds and now I'm leaving. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Just trying to get my TV home with somebody? a video of Ati. Oh, they're going to be following you. Did somebody so. throw something at me? I'm Somebody's like, change the channel. <laughs> Everyone's like, I love this show. One asshole's like, Friends is on. <laughs> hey, guys, can we watch? You're oh. such a Monica. <laughs> <laughs> the idea that all the, <laughs> the hiss all have to stop. Like, you, you have one special power with the hiss, and it's carrying around a TV that's playing just like TBS's uh, <laughs> fucking... Uh, Thanksgiving Friends Marathon. <laughs> <laughs> and they all just sit down in front of it. Oh, wait, wait. Where's the goddamn television? Oh, no, shit. Oh, uh, shit. Oh. These are the blowy uppy guys. Yeah. I don't want a part of that. Mm. Okay. Um, That's a hard no thank you, friends. Um, okay. Place it down uh, gently. This is, this is is this sturdy TV. This is like a Magnavox. Oh, oh fuck. Oh. Ah, get away. Get away. No, nothing's sturdy enough to with. Uh, oh. Yeah. Fuck ah. off. Laugh. Fuck off. I like the fact that Jesse doesn't have to keep her hand up in order to keep carrying stuff around. Help me, Ati. Come out of the TV. Yeah. Like the girl Bro, from the ring. You know Ati's fucking, <laughs> yeah, broom first, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The broom comes out like the hair. <laughs> um. You know, Ati's just on the other side of that, just watching. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oops. Oh. Um, I mean, the only... I guess this would be a little bit more difficult if I was, like, a slightly lower level. Um, it is... I do, though, like it when Control does stuff that isn't, like, a... Just, just shooting, shoot everything. Yeah, yeah, just a shooting challenge, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, I like that it forces you to, like, interact with everything and not... Not in a sh bang bang shooty kind of way. Hey Ati, can you put on that dynamite video from Doctor Darling because oh, that one's god. my favorite. Ati's like, oh my <laughs> god, what if uh, the video you're like you cleanse it and then it's just Ati in every role of the opening sequence of Friends. <laughs> 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 it's yeah, like, but it's him singing it's like the song too. Six Ati's <laughs> frolicking in a fountain. <laughs> I'll uh, be there for you. Uh, uh, I don't know how to do an Ati. He's so weird. Back in the zone. Uh, okay. Contain the altered item. Open the door first. Do I have to like... Oh, I have to put it in the thing. Oh. That's the thing. That's the ticket. There you go. There you go. Just gently uh -huh. place it down. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Yay. Wait, we got a case file. 
Uh, you know, open it. Okay, I guess. All right. I mean, I'm not here to tell you what I to mean, do, but like if you want, oh, fucking I fine. I, not really, <laughs> but sure. Uh, there's the movie camera. So, item has proven impossible to fully contain when in proximity of human beings. Oh no! Item is to be sent to the goats mm-hmm. in the goats of the <laughs> oldest house in order to prevent any future access. Description <laughs> altered effect. In. Lab coats <laughs> and in the table. Ah. It's for lab coats, goats. A VHS video home system could tape cassette. Item will not eject from the television player used at the time its altered status became evident. The VHS plays footage of goat entity A001 cleaning a floor. So Ati is, in fact, A001 and dancing. This footage renders individuals incapable of movement, speech, or thought while the television screen is within view. This effect is estimated to last indefinitely, though the most time spent in that state by a test subject is 21 hours. Individuals only recollect hearing strange music during their uh, entranced state. Footage plays on a constant loop even when the television is not connected to a power source. Even when the television and its footage are contained within an enclosed cell with no window, agents in proximity have been driven to open and enter the cell by the item's entrancing nature. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I wonder if you can turn the uh, turn the gun into, like, a screwdriver. I could probably get that tape out if I had a flathead screwdriver. <laughs> I don't think they've tried hard enough, really. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's it. That was the last one, which was was cool. I mean, uh, really, all it did was tell us that Ati is in fact a uh, like guaranteed entity. Yeah, where yeah. Before we were like, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I guess we knew, but sort of, but we didn't, we didn't really have, have like a documentation. classification. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering though. Um, the other thing. And I'm now just... we, I have a vision of Ati being a person on Friends. What? It, or even better than Ati being every character in Friends, it's just the Friends. Um, opening sequence uh-huh. and then Ati is just in the background of all of them all the like <laughs> clips and stuff like like uh like too many cooks yeah <laughs> yes you know that or it's just it's every epi- it's, it's 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 an episode of friends but Ati is gunther <laughs> and that's all that's different <laughs> and then like the laugh track works even though nobody understands the joke that he tells oh my uh, God. Um, you know remedy would love it if we just edit it that to happen oh, of course. they'd be like you guys are <laughs> geniuses uh ain't nobody got time for genius shit uh okay so investigate the sector elevator we are now i i, I feel that we missed something but i don't know where it is so were we're not you gonna expecting go like a bigger bang from something well no i i just i, I feel like there was an another outfit oh uh and that i didn't we didn't find it uh but it's probably just like in a chest in a corner somewhere so Meh. Meh. I'll go find it in between. I'll go find it before we do next week and then whatever. I'll look it up online and go walk right over to it. The foundation is not interesting enough to spend like a million years like crawling around in it. Yeah. It it actually is like the opposite of what I like about control. I like all the like 70s offices uh, way more than just like red. What was that? What was the, the... Last Jedi uh, planet oh, with all the salt on it. Yeah, with, like, I can't think of what it's called. That shit. Um, oh, the only planet I remember from the the newer series is Jakku, mm. which was the junkyard place. What about Canto Bite, where everybody gambles on uh, like military? Uh, uh, does that that guy? There's that drunk alien that puts coins into BB-8. <laughs> I like that part. That little leprechaun man. Yeah. I thought it was cute. Keep trying to get BB-8 to be like a slot machine or something. Hey, it's this guy, the most boring man in the world. What's up, Arish? I heard you closed the his portal or whatever it is we're calling it. Yep. Yeah. You just flush out the stragglers. Flush you out, bitch. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, just... Oh, is that? Arish is future. Um, I don't really see a future here for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> uh, turn in your, <laughs> turn in your uh, chest thing. Your where's the sector H-R-A. elevator? Sector elevator. Elevator. Sector elevator. elevator. <laughs> Here's the. Well, this is an elevator. I'm with you. Uh, sector elevator. Look you at go. that. You All look right. at the signs. Yeah. We've had this conversation. Oh. oh. Hey, it's Alan. Alan, <laughs> baby, I haven't seen you in ages. <laughs> Oh, God, I've got to put up with Alan Wake's terrible writing. <laughs> no, Alan, stop it. <laughs> oh, boo. Oh, there's a page in the middle of the elevator. Investigation sector, huh? 
All right. Oh, no, there wasn't. I thought there was. It was just like him. It just, oh, it was a page near Alan Wake. Mm-hmm. Exec- wait, maintenance sector? Which sector? Research I, sector. Containment sector? You know, I uh, 100% was not listening to Alan when he was talking. <laughs> investigation sector. I, I was think- just so happy to see his face. I think that's a new one. I don't think we've been to the investigation sector before. Uh, 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 I hope we see Mr. Scratch. God, I hope we're not in an Alan Wake story. It's an Al- <laughs> it's Alan Wake DLC. What do you mean? I Is this not, not the right time to say that I hate the way that Alan Wake writes? I love. <laughs> oh, no. I know that if I read Alan Wake, I'd be like, yeah, I've read every one of Alan Wake's books. And they'd be like, people would be, oh, wow, you must be a big fan. I'm like, well, not really. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, you read I like it in a weekend, story. you know what I mean? Oh, it's too dark. I read it because he sells everything to be a movie. Yeah. So. Oh. Um, uh, all the way, please. All the way open. A little more? A little more. A little more? Go on. Okay. I'm a plus size girl. Yeah, I gotta right, get there the doors. Go. Ah, ah, ah. Ooh. Oh my god. Alan's is... spooky with the <laughs> slowly opening <laughs> elevator doors. Look how fucking big this place is. Yeah. Damn. Sal and Wake, they weren't going to, they were like, one little tiny area. No. Look, I, offices. Aren't you happy? Huh? Anyone here? Mr. Wake, are you here with not. guy from Quantum Break <laughs> setting up the Remedy verse without Max Payne? I uh, want Alan and Otzi to hang out. Oh, missing agents. A lot more. Oh. Well, maybe I'll let you finish talking, Jesse. And the rest of the bureau. All right. That was enough. All right. Uh, <laughs> That's enough. Assets. Assets. Collectibles. Correspondence. Oh, oh shit. Oh fuck. We. I missed. I accidentally like. Okay. Well, it says missing uh, employees or whatever. Right. It was missing something. Is that what it was? Wasn't it? Missing agents. Missing agents. Was that what it was? Yeah. Mr. Kirkland here. The latest agents confirmed missing, presumed dead from the containment oh. breach yesterday. Jonathan Connor. John Connor. Really? Uh, Ezra, Ezra Cruz, Cruz, Carolyn Dempsey, Lindsay Malcolm, Charles Murray, Derek Shaw. Letters of uh, condolence will be delivered to you to sign prior to sending them to their families. You'll be updated as soon as additional confirmations are made. Also, pre request network engineer checked how many cases were backed up digitally. Unfortunately, a large number of active investigations were not archived yet, and the only hard copies of reports exist behind the fire break. They're lost, I'm afraid. So something went down here in the investigation sector. Oh, my God. Look at all these. Ooh. Oh, we got a lot of reading today. Yeah. All right. Here Let's we go. Get to it. I got caught. Darling Ooh. investigation. It's your boy. Dr. Darling. Uh, official findings report. Read Dr. Casper Darling. Internal confidential summary per authorization from Mr. Kirkland. Internal investigation D0845 was... Uh, launched into the ethical practices of Dr. (laughs) Casper Darling, head of research, despite the accounts of anonymous goats regarding inhumane treatment of a goat. (laughs) (laughs) All the goats in the lab coats are like, ah, ah, pointing at Darling. It's like, sir, I don't know what they're talking about. (laughs) Currently housed in the Bureau, our official findings regarding this were inconclusive. Numerous obstacles arose during this investigation. The majority of goat sector personnel seemed to be wholly unaware of any such goat contained there. One goat confirmed the goat's code name to be goat. But... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but all files pertaining to the name were inaccessible, being classified under the highest clearance level. Investigators were similarly blocked from entering the GOAT research wing yeah. to interview its staff. Mm-hmm. The matter was further complicated by the lack of clarity on whether non-human paranatural entities warrant humane treatment. While this investiga- this really fits together too well, yeah. while the investigation cannot address any charges against Dr. Darling, we do recommend an investigation into GOAT research. Mm-hmm. Refer to file 9820136 for full report. Goat research. <laughs> okay. The other goats are like, now, <laughs> yeah. get them. All right. Casey inquiry. What do we got? Casey Jones. Mr. Sorry. Dennis uh, request came through from re- uh, through recently from an FBI agent asking for all our files on Bright Falls, specifically on the disappearance of the author Alan Wake. Per the interagency information exchange agreement, I had some paper pushers gather up a folder of all the pre-approved files. Don't worry, all the inappropriate material is either missing or redacted. But I'm writing to let you know 
that we received this request from a special agent named Alex Casey. Sounds familiar, right? That's because Alex Casey is the name of the fictitious, <laughs> fictitious uh, should be fictional. Fi- fictional detective in those hard-boiled crime books Alan Wake wrote. Pretty interesting that an FBI agent sharing a name with the most famous character Wake wrote is looking into a case dealing with writer's fiction coming true. I think this is worth looking into, but what's your opinion? Just give the word and I'll start surveillance on the guy from Special Investigator Gleason. Now, did we... Did we meet Alex Casey? Was Alex Casey in Alan Wake? I don't know. Was there an FBI guy in Alan Wake? I don't think so. I don't remember. There I know there was like, like the a, sheriff, right? The yeah, the hard ass sheriff. But, but the, I don't think that was Alex. It's been so. I'm so oh, far removed. On. We need John here. <laughs> John would know. John loves Alan Wake. Yeah. I was still planning on getting my Alan Wake uh, and oh, oh. control tattoos. Oh, oh, oh. What about Quantum Break? No. What about Quantum <laughs> Break, though? No. Tractor supplement. No. Oh, good. Yeah, there Amanda. You <laughs> there you go. Uh, Burrow Tractor. <laughs> no, miscommunication led to a local coroner examining the body of William Burrow. Burrow William, male, Caucasian, case summary, 33-year-old man, found dead on his property. Per police report, remains... Uh, obtained for coroner's office also include blood, urine, bile, stomach contents, and bone fragments. Cool. Autopsy finding. Blunt force injuries to the head. Uh, a laceration. Left ear ch- cheek slash cheek. Blunt force injuries. Extremities. Dislocation. Right knee. Uh, complete avulsion of the right upper extremity with associated fracture of the proximal proximal right humerus extensive trauma abdominal region complete avulsion of multiple organs including stomach heart liver pancreas kidneys and portion of the large and small intestines all missing from the scene conclusion it is my opinion that mr burrow's death is not the result of a mechanical accident as claimed by authorities the removal of organs is consistent with animal attack hmm okay did the tractor eat him did the tractor turn all crazy with the dark you remember how stuff gets all nuts oh, in Alan Wake yeah. and then attacks you? Oh, uh, maybe. Polaris, there's a lot for us to read, okay? Yeah. Polaris is like, but over here. And we're like, but. Resignation letter. Oh, no. Somebody resigned. To, oh, blank, a blank, to, to, to goats, to goats, 2019, to make concern is with great anger and regret that I tender my resignation as head of investigations of the Federal Bureau of Control. I do this in protest of the rampant disregard for my department's goats. My <laughs> staff cannot continue to work in these conditions. <laughs> Previous requests and warnings have fallen on deaf ears, so I must now rely on my actions to speak louder than my words ever could. I blame this situation on our goats who have routinely our ignored. Goats <laughs> is a very long. Yeah. <laughs> who have routinely ignored my request for assistance in reclaiming the parts of the investigation sector lost to the goat loose inside. I will <laughs> never forget the screams of brave agents begging us to open that fire break. I will carry that shame for the rest of my days. The goat has failed his agents. I will never forgive him for that. Sincerely, William Kirkland. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, you know, that goat's a yeah. real son of a bitch. So. <laughs> it's a fucking goat, man. Ah! <laughs> One specific goat. Oh. Let me in. Oh, God damn it. No, let me in. I want to go in. This this already has, like, I feel like there's more memos in this area than there was in the entirety of the foundation. Like, I mean. Ooh, an ethics investigation. You know, I read all the fun ones, don't yeah. I? Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> the prime candidate program. Official findings report. Read the prime candidate program. Pro- uh, authorization for Mr. Kirkland. Internal investigation. P1429 was launched into the legality of the prime candidate program. Goats by the Fe- Federal Bureau of Control. Since all known subjects relevant to the investigation used executive privilege to decline interviews, very little firsthand information was gathered. However, anonymous sources and documentation declassified by Mr. Kirkland both paint an alarming, cl- alarmingly clear picture of sy- systematic goats and goats were brought into the oldest house and placed under goat examination and testing with the aim of appointing one as director of <laughs> <laughs> maturity. This program has produced no successful cases and only result in the traumatic goat of <laughs> naturally inclined goats. Not only is this in a breach of the Ash Act, but it fl- uh, flies in the face of basic human goat. It really this, does. <laughs> this investigation team unequivocally goat the prime candidate program and recommends that it be goat immediately. Mm, yep. Refer to file, blah, blah. No one cares. Yep. And they really mess those goats up. I know. <laughs> and uh, they're like, one of these goats is going to be our leader. <laughs> <laughs> the goats kept pull, putting guns to their heads. 
Oh, tractor procedures. Yeah. Wait, is the tractor here? Are we going to fight like an Alan Wake tractor? Frank Elf uh, tractor, yep. Yep. Uh, containment procedure item is not in Bureau of Custody, not known. Description altered effect. A Frank Elk tractor, olive green, dried blood on the grill when last seen. Item is capable of vocalized responses or growls and unmanned locomotion. Considered highly aggressive and dangerous. Background. The item first came to the Bureau's attention after the death of William Burrow, owner of Burrow Farm outside of Trenton, Texas. Local authorities arrived on scene after an employee found the mutilated body of Mr. Burrow beneath his tractor. Police arrived but were immediately driven away by the tractor. <laughs> Panic calls to the federal authorities were intercepted by Bureau of Communications staff. A team was dispatched. Upon arrival, the agents approached the item. It responded by growling like a bear. Wow. Three agents were injured when they tried to detain the item, which escaped. Aerial searches for the item are ongoing. Speaking to Mrs. Burrow, only revealed that she had a domestic altercation with Mr. Burrow earlier the night of the incident. Whether these events are connected is currently unknown. How come I get the <coughs> ones that have like 80 freaking redacted parts oh and yours are all like none, none. <laughs> or, or like three but they they totally work when you say goats to them uh so this is something that i'm curious about though this is in trenton, trenton texas. texas yeah so that's not it was that where the american nightmare took place i thought that was more like a southwest oh, thing right I yeah uh, i don't remember if that's where american nightmare took place oh my god what's going on over here oh. those these are stairs you use them to go up and down when what you, no i fly when, yeah you don't have the ability to fly. Oh, look. Is a- Amanda, are you ready? Oh, here we go. How many redactions are in Keystone the Keystone inspection? inspection? So many. <laughs> oh, Nazis. Oh, there you go. Mr. Kirkland, <laughs> we stopped at Keystone on our way to the Target AWE like you would a- you asked. I'm sending my report directly to you to try to keep a lid on this grooming Morales desertion issue. Sure. We didn't find any sign of them here. Given their reports, it is possible they've switched teams, like you suspected. But I don't think that's the case. An event definitely occurred here in Keystone, and I think Grumman and Morales got caught up in it. The entire population has vanished into thin air. Reminds me of the ordinary case. Uh, but that was just the adults, if I'm remembering the file correctly. This is different. I think our guys are casualties, not traitors. If it was an AWE, it seems to be over. We walked through the whole town, and the only strange thing we noticed were markings on various buildings. Two overlapping circles with a dot in this shared space. Could be unrelated. I'll show you the pictures when I get back. In the meantime, you should send a team out here to cordon this place off and maybe get the comms guys working on a cover story. Sincerely, Agent Keenum. Do you know what overlapping circles with the dot was that an Alan Wake thing? Um, I don't remember there being like I, a... You know, I, we're so far <laughs> removed from Alan Wake that I feel like we're going to miss a lot of the good details yeah. that we're getting here. I mean... I have shit uh, ooh, like memory... There is definitely I mean, a thing up there. That, that was like get. last year, right? Like, come on, you know. Yeah, on in fairness, it could have been like two days ago, and I'd be like, "Fuck, I don't know." Oh shit! I was supposed to do that. Okay, cool. What did? You, sh- oh shit! Look at me doing the thing I'm supposed to do. Uh, you go up there. Uh, look at all these things. Whoop! Shit! All right. You guys never read all this documents. We're doing it this time. Ooh, spaceman! Ground control to Major Tom. All right. Wow. Trench. Ooh, Mr. Trench. Official warning. Yes, Kirkland, I grow tired of your blatant attempts to lay your incompetence at my doorstep. I know you want this to be true, but you are head of investigations. This failure is your responsibility. What did you think would happen holding a dangerous specimen in investigations? The containment sector exists for a reason. They're better trained. <laughs> no, I know who runs that sector, and they're not better trained. <laughs> they're better equipped for this type of Wait, work. Wait, who ran that sector? Was that Darling? Comb over guy. That let oh. his dude get sucked into the. Uh, he forgot about. Yeah, he. Uh, oh fridge my guy. god! Totally forgot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In fact, they have admirably taken on certain AWE monitoring responsibilities. Your staff are no longer capable of. Oh. This happens more and more now. And don't think your petty internal investigations have gone past my notice. You are a worm. Everything I've done has been for the benefit of the bureau. Bureau, the prime candidate program only failed because of darling. You are both failures, plenty against me. You are traitors, but the truth will emerge out of you. You are choosing to become my enemy, Kirkland. You don't want to be Zachariah Trench, director of the Federal Bureau of Control. Um, Zachariah Trench is the person that shot himself yeah. in this one. Yeah. Um, I like this certificate of achievement for no one. <laughs> Nothing. For years of service to the Bureau. No date, just like one signature. Scribbles. 
why did you guys put this up on the wall? What did you get here? I that- lo- you notice that all their certificates have um, triangles all over them? Oh, yeah. This one does, too. Oh, that, that, one's, got the, that one's got the fucking board at the top. What yeah. does that say above the thing? Do you see? Uh, so United, United States, States of America. America Federal Bureau, Bureau of Control. Control okay. yeah. I thought it was going to say something. I thought it was going to have like a cool quote or something. Oh, my God. Uh, there's so here many. Here we go. I realize that we've only been reading for about five minutes. So. Oh, there good. You go. Official findings report re goats. Yep. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, goats was launched into the goat of director <laughs> Zachariah Trench. Boom, right in your goat <laughs> trench. <laughs> Recent change in goat witnessed in director Ch- Trench include aggressive goat when goat with other staff has been observed. However, this investigation is aimed at interpreting this issue rather than a pr- than pr- uh. Rather than proving it, I don't know why that my brain was like, you're not doing it. Notable goat between Director Trench and Dr. Darling has been witnessed by numerous Bureau staff. Staff? Straff? Mm. Straff. Although both declined to meet for an interview on the matter, witness accounts suggest their arguments center around the dimensional research wing and the goat kept inside. However, no evidence exists to confirm Director Trench's goat as anything more than interpersonal disagreements. He really got his goat. (sighs) It seems like he might float his goat. This investigation has concluded that Director Trench's behavior is not indicative of of any go and that his fitness to lead is not in question. Refer to file goat for full report. This one actually makes sense because this is after Trench got his infected yeah. and started getting all crazy and shit. Yeah. So um yeah. So was Dr. Darling a bad guy? I mean there aren't none, none, not no one's really, great, well, but I don't like, really know. Oh, that's not a readable, that's just a collectible. Hey stuff. Woo Oh 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 I'm full. Okay, well, let's take care of that now, lest there's uh, comes time. No, uh, I I don't I don't think Darling was bad. I mean, I know Trench didn't like him, but Trench was was all fucked infected. up. Yeah, uh, I I well, he created the HRAs, right? Uh, which saved a bunch of lives. Yeah. So that's a good one. Oh, and then it seemed like he was doing it kind of on the hush hush because. Trench was crazy. Yeah. And I, so he couldn't do it with Trench knowing because Trench was already infected. Right. Oh. So it seems This to is make all something we all already knew, but I didn't because <laughs> I'm stupid. Well, no, you didn't because we fucking finished control last year, yeah. right? And then like I had to go back and play all the way through it from the beginning. Yeah. So I got to see all that stuff happen again in real time. Uh, but it's like Oh, do you remember the thing where we played that game over the course of several months, like a one week at a time? Ooh, level six. And I mean, but that's how you watch a television show. You know what I mean? That's how we back in the day used to watch television shows. But this game isn't structured like a television show. Like, it's structured to be played, like, kind of in a row. Uh, more than I know, but like still, you, the saying like, "Well, you, you, how could you possibly have retained it because you were only playing once a week?" It's like, right? But like at this point, I feel like I've been adapted to no redacted at all. Official findings report from Dr. <laughs> Ryan Underhill. Summary: Dr. <laughs> Ryan Underhill is a professor at the University of Woodrow in the United Kingdom, where she teaches biology with a focus on botany. Nerd. Dr. Underhill once worked with the bureau as a para botanist. She's stationed the mushroom lady, isn't she? In the oh, maybe so research sector of the oldest house. She served with no incidents or demerits, and is praised by those who formerly worked with her, including Dr. Darling. Dr. Underhill has no known connection to paracriminal organizations or any record of breaching her NDAs. Since leaving the Bureau, her civilian behavior has been ideal with the exception of an ongoing personal relationship with Dr. Darling, Ooh, that Ooh. appears to have begun during their time as co-workers in the research sector and revisited intermittently ever since. During, uh, Depending on the duration of her work in the oldest house, it may be required to have both parties sign a relationship clearance form. This investigation has found no compelling reason to deny Dr. Darling's request to offer Dr. Underhill an interim position with the aim of finding a solution to yeah. the mold threshold issue. That's 100% Refer her. to blah, blah for blah, blah, blah. I love blah, that blah, they blah, have blah. a relationship, like, consent form thing. I'm just wondering, like... You know, I never really thought of Dr. Darling as a sexual being, <laughs> but now I can't help but only think of him that way. Really? Even after watching him sing Dynamite? you still Well, if anything, <laughs> I thought it less... So, like any uh, thought of sexual anything is just gone to chief investigator Dennis 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 uh, it happened again <laughs> third time this year something certainly has it out for our goats could be Raikou. <laughs> 
Oh, boy. All right. Could be raccoons. The locals certainly complain about them enough, but why the hell would raccoons keep going after a monitoring station? Doesn't add up. Anyway, I've got a bureau tech going to the site next week to take a look. Next on the list of recurring problems is the staff at the Lake House Research Station. How am I supposed to effectively keep an eye on Goat Lake <laughs> if they won't let me see any data? Hell, I don't even know what they're researching out there. We need the petition. Uh, we need to petition them again to share their info with investigation agents. Uh, it's only a matter of time before this goat hits again, and I want to be prepared. Yep. Anyway, if anyone at HQ asks why the Bright Falls report is a little thin this month, tell them it's because we couldn't uh, take any readings. In the meantime, I might investigate in some raccoon traps. Sincerely, Agent Estevez. You're right. Emilio Estevez? So... So is there like a tell there was like a whole other investigation sector of the Bureau of Control that like got wiped out before or maybe initially with the hiss or maybe before that? Like yeah. something happened over here. Uh, I imagine they go through this sort of a lot. Well, what's weird about this is that investigation seems like they're very much at odds with a lot of the rest of the Bureau, whereas all the other departments seem very like buddy buddy. Right. Yeah. They're like cohesive. And then they're like the like the black sheep. stepchild. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Dennis, so yes, I, maybe it's Denny, Mr. Denny. Mr. Denny. So yes, there is an increase in AWE cases, and yes, it would be a good idea to put together a special task force to examine exactly why that is. However, it seems that a tiny detail has slipped through the cracks. We don't have the damn staff! If you expect us to detect, investigate, and process more AWE cases, you need to give us more people. It's simple math. Between the staff we lost in the Hartman thing and the ones who left for other departments after Kirkland quit, we're barely managing to keep up with the workload. Hell, just filing the paperwork for all the altered items we left behind in the sector has been an ordeal. Another thing... And this is going to sound paradoxical, but we have an overcrowding situation. The lobby isn't meant to accommodate a whole sector's worth of staff. We put forward a motion to move investigations to a more suitable location months ago. It better not be sitting on your desk. The people are getting restless. And as Kirkland's interim replacement, it's your job to handle it. Best regards, Agent Dick Grayson. <laughs> um, so after, like, as you can see from the map, it's here to, like, after investigations got fucked mm -hmm. the fire break was closed and so the entire sector basically had to like work out of this well it's weird right because like even in the foundation there's offices that got like shut off in there right yeah so there seems to be a series of events where consistently something's going on like not only are they uh, at odds with things that happen outside yeah but they're also at odds with things that occur in the oldest house right yeah regularly i could see it all right, Who Amanda. Uh, specimen <laughs> escape assessment. No redactions, no redactions, no redactions. Uh, That's not yeah. bad. Incident A49. The purpose of internal investigation X0397 is to examine the containment failure of specimen S. Is that SI? SI1? I seem so. Uh, that resulted in the deaths of goat agents. Mm -hmm. No! <laughs> An inspection report of the containment equipment three days earlier showed no faults. Investigators suspect human error to be the cause, yet no department has provided any evidence to support this. Technicians were able to recover the researchers' notes on the specimen from the internal network. On the goat of goat, the specimen began displaying a sharp increase in aggressive goats. Mm -hmm. uh, Cross-referencing that date with various logs found only two events inconsistent with the sector's daily routine. One, the air filters were changed and two an hour prior to the incident a civilian named alice go entered the sector regarding an in unrelated investigation see interview 65 f124 given their connection to the same awe case it is likely that mrs goat's presence is relevant to the specimen's escape and to the goat investigation is ongoing you Who's never trust somebody with a last name goat alice isn't alice uh Was alan she... wake's wife was she, what is that right? Oh my god, we're the worst people in the world to play <laughs> this game. Like, <laughs> You're like, Yes, right. fucking why did you even why? Why did you even start, Jeff and Amanda? <laughs> I'm gonna look it up now, right. just in case. Yep, I'm not going through there. I've got a lot of metal in my pockets, I'm not <laughs> taking <laughs> off my <laughs> shoes. Pop, pop. Uh, all right, ooh, oh, I thought that was the pull chain to go to the uh, oh, you're like, click three times, Alice Wake, Alice Wake. Wait, Alan's Wake wife's name was Alice? Yes, Alan and Alice Wake. That's so stupid. Whoa. Why would you na why would you marry somebody? I'm no detective. Uh, something definitely happened here. 
You think? Oh, wait. It is a pull cord. Wait, but the, there's yeah. a thing yeah. over there. No, no, no. I'm getting it. I just have to break the window. I know there's a door. I prefer this way. Yeah. Um, I'm the director. Got to keep Ati in business. Paracriminal profile, the blessed organization. Hashtag blessed. Summary, this group uh, slash individual has operated outside of Bureau's notice for decades, perhaps longer, displaying a level of skill and caution rarely seen in paracriminal groups. Oh, man, I want to be in a paracriminal Yeah, group. I was just thinking that. A review of past cases has found various mentions of their activity over the years. In 2016, a production company called Blessed Pictures was connected to an altered item case. That's the, as well as the camera? Death, yeah, I think so, of an agent from exposure to illicit paranatural materials. In 1994, a Los Angeles-based public speaker named Chester Bless was involved in the illegal use of an altered item. In 1988, a business called Blessed Repair and Service was suspected of involvement with an object of power case, perhaps even creating it. None of these businesses or individuals have been located. However, their connection to the appearances of altered items and objects of power is too direct to be considered circumstantial. An arrest order has been issued for any persons believed to be involved with the Blessed Organization. Blessed Organization. Oh, so. interesting. The idea that they are either collecting or creating these items. There's actually something, because uh, I've been listening to that SCP p podcast, uh -huh. and I feel like they've started to create like other organizations that like are, are separate from scp that like in some cases are adversarial and in some cases oh oh i feel this feels familiar oh do you want to uh, kiss to break I, the tension <laughs> i'm sorry i'm my name is alan wick oh, eh, oh, uh, oh uh, 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 is this the ring video? Are you tricking me into watching the ring video? You got to tell me, Alan Wick. You're tricking me into watching the ring video. Yeah, legally, you can't not tell me. Yeah. That's the the ring video act of 2018. <laughs> you have to tell me this is the ring video. Oh. Hey. Oh, it's... Oh, Al, Al, Mr. Scratch and Alan. Mr. Scratch. Who are you? Or not Mr. Scratch? Alan Wick looks weird. Oh. Oh, his dad. Nothing to worry about. Tom. The pose. The diver, you, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. Are they the two different character life. models? <laughs> no, I think they're the same. An old terror like yourself. Oh, yeah, they're different. Are they? Yeah. Barely. What? Can together, we? Remember? What? I think I got different, like, Artistic noses. Maybe not. I... <sighs> Bro, me too, uh, Alan Wake. Uh, I'm feeling uh, uh, it. You need a drink. Do I ever? <laughs> Yay! Hey! Oh, oh, Dr. Darling! <laughs> Put Dr. Darling on Nine Springs! Put him on Nine Springs! <laughs> Kippus. Sounds like something Auntie would say before. Kampai. <laughs> where where are we located? <laughs> we're at the Overlook Hotel or what the fuck? Yeah, hey, what's happening? Yeah. We're very close now. The Zane, it was the, he came out in like the di the huge diving suit, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. You found a way. No. I, I don't Uh oh, I live for this. <sighs> there we go. Here we go. It's my double. He's out there. I I've seen yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing to worry about. I'm That's dealing with Fine, my friend. Let me handle him. You've met him? What the hell? My glass! Come on. Jesse's like, this is awkward. <laughs> She's just like standing three feet from the two of them like, oh, that guy seems like a douche. I'm leaving. She just closes the door. <laughs> <laughs> locks it and walks away. Hey. Alan Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE case I read about. Yeah, baby. <laughs> These are all locked, right? Yeah, we got to do the other side. It's Alan. He should be the director. Hey, Thomas Zane was with him. Yeah. The poet. Yeah, Tommy Z. We all know him. He was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that. One. But he was a poet. What? Just What's turn. Going? Oh, shit. Uh, oh, my God. Can you please just keep it down? Give me the pistachios. Okay. That was weird. Um, is there normally it opens one of the door? Oh, 
Okay. I think Do they're it. all open. That. That turned everything off. Okay. All right. Just got, you guys got the radio on in here? Yep. God, <laughs> what are we just running? And just power everywhere. Ooh, did that door just open on its own? It did. Oh, uh, what's scary. this? What is Key? That? Oh, oh, ow, yow. Yeah, that's not going to scare me. Jesse, you don't want to turn lights off in the Alan Wake universe. You want to turn lights on in the Alan yeah, Wake yeah. universe. Ooh, that's a good point. Um, Okay. He types badly. The hunt and pecking? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you're going to hunt and peck, you might as well just handwrite. <laughs> like, come on. He likes the quick clacky noise. So, did is that enough to... Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. What? And a one. And a two. And a go. Here I am. Fire break clear. Sort of. Uh, oh, shit. It's one of those assholes. I mean, I figure I got to go all the way down to the third one to get across. So, all right. Here we Whee. go. Sorry. I got a lot of stamina. A lot of flying stamina. What? Ha cha 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 cha. Hey, buddy, you wanna come over here? You wanna fuck with the director? Come on, fuck with the director. Uh, what you got? Show me what you got. Uh. Whee! Then I fly <laughs> away! <laughs> Better luck next time, you psychic jerk! Or psycho jerk. Or psycho Single killer. Billy freak out. Keskese. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a fucking Texas psycho Billy freak out. That's what it is. Ah. And yeah. That's how most people describe me. <laughs> Misery loves company, Jesse. I mean, what can you say? He's like, uh, do you want to read my next book? She's like, no. <laughs> yes, I would. I just need to read it somewhere else. And she takes the containment. She's like, just put this in here. I'm not oh, even going to open nah, it. Somebody else read it. Nobody read it. Just put it in one of these boxes. Put it with Ati's TV in the box. They can keep each other company. <laughs> uh TV Ati, Channel Ati can read this book. Ooh, turlets. Wow, these uh, these bathrooms seem a lot more put together than the foundation. What the shaded facet? Okay. Where? Uh, I never use any of my materials because I've done all the things. So it's weird to me that these bat. Uh, where are you guys going? Uh, what's going on, furniture? <laughs> what's your deal, furniture? <laughs> You guys are getting rowdy. No, I don't want to alarm anybody, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure uh, I wasn't drinking coffee this morning. Ati, <laughs> I'm going to need you to clean up the trash cans. I know how that sounds, but, you know, they're doing something weird, Ati. It doesn't look like a house shift. Oh, you don't whoop, look like a house whoop, shift. You, yep. Do I even want to know? No. You're the director, so yes. Probably not. You want to save skis? I want to. I want to make Emily come down here. Well, I guess we don't have an enforcement. She does need 30 hours of uh, uh, field training. Field training. We don't have an enforcement division anymore now that what's her name is gone. Um, yeah, Marshall. Marshall, yeah. And see, boom. this is why I'm like, it doesn't matter if we beat um, Alan Wake a year ago or Control a year ago or two days ago because we barely remember Marshall's name. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last fucking week. Yeah. Yep. Like, uh. Whoever you know. That one lady. Mm. Hissies. Hissies. Come here. No, come here. Where are you going? Where are you doing? What are you, what are you buying? Come on, guys. You know how this works. You walk up to me like all crazy, and then I fucking throw a bunch of Coffee fire extinguishers and, into yeah. your face. Who's got... Who wants some? Oh, you did not me want to. Me do. I want some. Oh, no. I made a horrible decision about the sum that I thought I wanted. All right, fine. Fuck you. I will shoot you, too. I mean, it's fine. Either way. Oh, shit. Yeah, what was that? Uh, give me some of them fucking healths. I know there's some healths in here. Eh, a little bit. Hey, guys. What's up? 
Oh god, there's a oh, there's fuck a... ton of them. Uh, yeah, but they're oh, all Jesus. like level eight. Oh shit! Well, level eight will kill me just as much as anything else. Yeah. Well, you know, a level one bullet to the head <laughs> is still a bullet to the head. Yeah. Mostly just wasn't paying attention. It's weird how the game like. Some encounters, it's just like, oh, I will toy with this one, and it will be fine. And then sometimes it's like, oh, shit, there are too many. I'm ne I'm, I'm now dead. Yeah. I'm now just fully Well, it dead. doesn't help that you were, like, kind of dead center of them instead of, like, coming in around the sides or something. Yeah. So, like, they were... Then I tried to do the thing where I shielded and then dashed and then ended up dashing into a bunch of guys, leaving my back open for the guys that I just dashed through. Mm -hmm. um, all right, you fucks. You hissy little hiss fucks. You hiss bitches. No, none of this. None of this. We're fucking nipping. We're nipping buds. Guard your buds. They're about to get nipped. Yeah. Uh, I swear to God, I saw a guy stand up. Well, there's a couple of guys. Oh, shit. I still have the rocket launcher. Uh, oops. <laughs> sorry. Well, no, that works really well, actually. I just have to make sure not to do it too close to myself. Sorry, everybody. I, you know, I meant to kill you, but I didn't mean to obliterate your corpses. There will be nothing left to send to your families. Hit little his families. Oh, little his, I got his babies at home. Little his children. Where's Papa Hiss? Uh, <laughs> I don't know why that's so dark to me. Little, There's a bunch in here, too. Like little his marriages. Aw. Look at you, you may now kiss the hiss. You may now hiss the oh, bride. It's a hiss kiss. Ah, uh, your names. Uh, Hartman, Emil. Wait, Emil Hartman. He's the guy. We were just talking about him, right? Yes. Victim names: Alan Wake, Wake Alan, uh, Tor Anderson, Odin Anderson. That's the those Rudolph are the, the gods of uh, Asgard. Uh, the gods of Asgard. Wendy yeah. DeSol. Was she the waitress? Uh, Emerson. Thomas yes. Emerson. Uh, officer named Special oh, Agent what? Remy Denis. <laughs> the charges. Code 4, kidnapping of altered individuals. One count. Code 8, sanctions against altered uh, organizations. One count. Code 37, obstruction of bureau investigation. One count. Code 74, breaching the Ash Act. Six counts. Additional notes. Defender's property seized as evidence to be used in conjunction with an ongoing AWE investigation. Defender's personal effects have been sent to research for analysis. After being cleared by Bureau researchers, all victims have been released. Biannual surveillance orders were assigned to each, except the Anderson brothers due to their senility and wake, possibly deceased. He's not dead! <laughs> um, do you think that the blessed organization is going to be like the, the thing that makes like Alan Wake and and Jesse come together for like the oh uh, right. I don't know no Maybe. filing cabinet can resist me uh, uh, if you just gotta go in and around nope all right well oh fuck well. your walls Jesus the walls um director Faden could you <laughs> the walls I can destroy the filing cabinets nah they were heavy and full of files. <laughs> All right. I got two pieces of garbage. Yep. But on the plus side, he destroyed the wall to get it. I did get one ability point, though, which is nice. I feel like I saw another one of those files somewhere. Uh, there was a whole separate wing over here, so oh, it's probably something, over there. something going on. Why do I have to turn everything off in the hotel to get here? Oh, there we go. Whoopa! Oh, yeah. Foot gossip! You're welcome, Amanda. Show feet. <laughs> Hello, my feet gossip is at, at night. <laughs> Hello, my feet gossip at night, and now I have to wear shoes to bed. Sincerely, me. Cool. We've all been there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Stop talking. God, I'm trying to sleep, guys. Come on. Can you imagine? Like, <laughs> I just, I just want to sleep. Did you hear what I heard about uh, about uh, James Charles? Like, sh shut up, feet! God! This little piggy went to the market. I don't care! <laughs> I don't care who went to the market, for fuck's sake! Uh, oh, wait. Weapon forms. Oh. What? We Do what? Say what? When did we... Fuck, did we get that? Did we get that in the thing? I don't know. Oh, shit. I don't even have... I needed more of those shaded facets. Damn it, Amanda. I need you more shaded it, facets. You said, you said it was garbage. It's garbage. I need more of that garbage. garbage. Yeah, I need more garbage for the thing. And I need confiscated motives. <laughs> I'm taking all your motives. <laughs> no, my motives. 
Uh, okay, well, what the fuck does this thing do? We got to equip it, put some mods on it, and then shoot it at guys. Uh, let's do Surge. Surge fires adhesive grenades that detonate when manually triggered or if they're time. It's a grenade launcher! Woo! Ow. All right. This is going to be uh, very, very destructive to me. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's definitely going to blow gonna, you oh, up. Oh, I'm going to blow myself up so yeah, bad. You're going to find a way to get a bomb oh. stuck to yourself. <laughs> Hell, yeah, I am. Wait, can I, like, can I, like, put a bomb on a thing and then, like, pick that thing up? Can I pick the bomb up? Let me pick up the bomb. You're going to hurt yourself. You want to trigger that one and then do another one? <laughs> yes. Whee! Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay. Let's do this. All right. This is our exclusive weapon for this playthrough. Unless there's another one. Oh, hey, look at that. Boxy. Did M M C Escher make this building? Seems that way. Come in. You I'm in. literally locked yourself out by throwing a chair in the way. I can move it. Get me in there. I'm the director. Getting in there. I'm the director, goddammit. Oh, no. Uh, no. I don't think that's a thing you can get. Place multiple grenades by firing left trigger... Well, left trigger aiming. Okay, so like if I do like that, I can do all of them and then just fucking blow them up. Holy at the same time. shit. Okay, so. we're cool. gonna blow up Alan Wake. <laughs> 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 I just wish I could do a better Alan Wake because some bitch put grenades all over my shit. What is uh, that? Aim a powerful light source at the darkness. We could aim Ati at <laughs> the TV. It's like you get too close to it. It's like, I believe in a thing called love. Uh, how many times did we did we make that joke like all the time during the probably Alan Wake? oh man it's been so long or just hold it like a fucking person dude if you could levitate shit instead of holding it you would you know you would it's like I don't, this hot dog needs a little mustard like ooh, you use my magic powers no I would just grab it it would be nice though if we could tape a flashlight to the bottom of the service weapon since I feel like there's going to need to be a lot of... Uh, I wonder if we can get a mag light powered by Energizer. I think there is definitely something. There's a dead guy. There's an ah, you old... spotlight him. Perfect. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay. It just goes up and up and up. All right. Great. Here we go. And uh, mold. Lots and lots of mold. We don't have to worry about mold, though, do we? Yep. I'm immune. I got the mold police. The mold police, they live inside of my brain. <laughs> uh, Do you kill the weird pustule that's going on over there? I mean, yeah. Oh. A toy. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. Uh, are there more weird pustules? This yeah, is probably a side quest. Right there. Yeah, there's one there. I'm going to do them all at the same time. Uh, like everything's foggy and gross. What? Oh, right. That's not how you... Uh huh. And then you gotta put one up there, one over there, and one over here, and then bazinga! Uh -huh. Oh, there's uh, more. Jesus. There's one over here. There's one over here. This one over here. Ow! Anybody else? Any of the rest of you fucks? I think there's probably a. I feel like we should have gotten one. like a sub quest that's like destroy all the mold. Now that mold's destroyed, sir. Okay. Well, uh... I uh, can't help you. Yeah. Wait. Is that... Oh, that was where some mold was. Where the mold was makes it look like broke, uh, breakable walls. Yeah. I bet that's probably like a side quest that we do at some point, right? Yes. Get rid of all the mold in the investigation sector. D. Oh, um, okay. Oh, shit. Is the clog in here, too? It's like the greatest hits collection. <laughs> Alan Wake and the clog... It's my two favorite remedy characters. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Orange peel. Tomato juice. Well, uh, I think this is, we're going to wrap it up. We're standing at a control point, right? Like, yeah, this is a good spot. It's kind of as good of a place as any to wrap it up. So This was a very reedy episode. It was. Uh, lots of... lots story of Story time with Rachel. Like. Yeah. Uh, and also... A lot of shining lights on stuff this episode. Yeah, I mean, um, Alan Wake. Right, but he, even before that, we had TV Ati. That's true. Uh, 
<laughs> but now I have a grenade just launcher. Just kick a door down and just like pew, pew, pew. Bamo, what's up now, tree? Yeah, thought you could escape the director, did you? You can't. It's me, director Faden. Yep. Tree killer. Yep. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. To, I mean, do whatever. Share it out to people on Facebook. Sure. Does anybody listen? Do you ever hit the like, subscribe button when somebody in a YouTube video directs you to do a thing? Are you like, yes, sir, Mr. YouTube? I will Mr. hit like YouTube. and subscribe. That's and what I'm here for. Ring the bell for notifications. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So maybe it's like reverse psychology. Don't like, unsubscribe, don't ring the bell for notifications. Or just do whatever you want. You're an adult. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash Rage Select is what you should really do is go there, come hang out with us in Discord server. Yeah. Uh, get a bajillion bonus videos. Do all that. That sounds like a good idea. It does. And uh, yeah, you can also use the Amazon links if you want to buy Control, which you should because Control is rad. Yeah. Uh, and, Game of the uh, year. That's it. Bye. Bye.